to all of my friends at Super Touch Toys. It's -a me, Mario. Woohoo! Mamma mia, you number one. <laughs> Hey guys, Tux here, and I wanted to go ahead and share first a long form video of my experience in New York with the Nintendo New York Grand Reopening. It was such a great event, I wanted to share just kind of the feel of it. So for this particular video, it's a little bit long, okay, I will have a short form video coming later with some of my favorite moments, but for this video, being someone who's really into E3 and keynotes, I wanted to let all you guys experience some of the, the pride and just the thoughts and process of opening this store. So this there's going to be a lot of um, bloggers, other people kind of walking around here. It was pretty crowded actually, there's so much media there. But I wanted to share with you this first part here, which is actually Nintendo's opening remarks. So let me turn it over to Nintendo. Alright, well, I think we're ready to get started you guys. Again, thanks for being here at Nintendo New York. We are so excited to reopen the store with a new look and, and have you guys come in and, and uh, be part of this today. Hey, I wanted to remind everyone uh, very quickly that there's there's no live broadcast or streaming that, that happens before 11 o'clock. It's, it's part of the rules of the property. We want to be good neighbors. We want to be good tenants here. So, so uh, hold any live broadcast or streaming until after 11. Um, but uh, to get things started, we've got some, we've got some uh, VIPs in the house. Of course, you know the Super Mario Brothers, Mario and Luigi. Charles Martinet, who gives them a great voice. <laughs> Doug, Doug Bowser, our VP of Sales. Woo! Rick Landry, Woo! VP of uh, Supply Chain, Supply Side. And then, uh, to say a few words this morning, we've got our Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing, Scott Moffitt. So, uh, good morning everyone, how you feeling? Yeah. So, uh, thank you all for coming for this uh, great grand opening, re-grand opening event. Um, we've got tons of fun waiting for you today. So I'm only gonna keep you for a minute. We have uh, a great sp new space here we want to introduce to all of our game fans, not only in New York, but as you know, this is a draw for visitors from around the world, from Europe, from Asia, from South America, and they all see this as a destination spot where everyone comes to play. So we have a great space here that's not only redesigned for an improved shopping experience, also an improved play experience with lots of fun, but also we have tournaments and special events here. And we have one in fact coming up right uh, this coming month with the Pokemon Tournament Early Access Competition, which will be held, the finals will be held right here at the store. So we've got that to look forward to. So we get game fans in here from all ages, whether it's 50-year-old uh, game fans with decades of Nintendo experience, to five-year-olds that are just discovering Mario and Luigi and some of the great content. So without further ado, let's uh, let, let me get around the other side. We'll cut the ribbon and we'll let the fun begin. All right? Hey. <laughs> Woo! Gentlemen. Just hold the pose for a couple minutes, we'll get a good clean shot, and then we'll do the cutting. Okay. Alright, okay. step in a little bit. Right there. Alright, here we go. Everybody straight on? Oh, that's great, guys. Alright, let's go. Good. Big smiles, big smiles, very nice. Put the scissors a little bit closer. Yeah, right there. Alright, everybody got their shots? Alright, good. Anytime. Alright. Ready? Let's go! go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that keynote as much as I did. I love, love, love being around gamers and being there with actual Nintendo execs talking about their passion for Nintendo and not just Nintendo but gaming as a whole. The whole gaming community really made me feel special and really happy to be amongst such great people. Looking at the store when you first walk in, there's all sorts of great plushies just waiting for you. There's all sorts of super cute Animal Crossing and Mario and all sorts of things from the Mario universe of games. 
games. I mean, I just, I didn't even know what to look at. I was like a little kid in a candy store, literally. There was so much awesome stuff. There's new plushies I've never seen before in other stores, including Nintendo just back like six months ago. Now over here on the wall, there's some great things. There's like little toys, there's little Mario figures, there's little Mario cars. I mean, there's so many fun stuff to choose from. It really, really is like what to buy first, you know? I mean, all this stuff is so awesome. You know I love those little Kinex toys and all those like little things. Now check out Splatoon backpacks. And not just Splatoon backpacks, there's Mario and video game consoles. You know, going back to like the original NES. Just so much fun stuff. And then t-shirts. Oh my gosh, the t-shirts. So many great t-shirts to choose from. And big pillows. I mean, these are like, these are like pillow size plushies and wallets. You know I need a wallet so badly. I ended up getting the Zelda one. You can check that out in the game hall from New York, the video prior to this one. And then connects. There are all sorts of connect blind bags. You know I'm into those. And actual connect play sets. I mean, it's just, I just wish I had more luggage space because I would love to take even more of the stuff home with me. Water bottles. Just so much cool stuff. And then check it out over here. They have video games just on the shelf. No big security trays, no locked cabinets or glass doors. I mean, just sitting out for you. That's fantastic. And then up here at the POS, a very clean look. As you can see, there was a nice logo. And then walking over here a little past the POS, we got t-shirts and hats. And check out, there's Luigi giving high fives to people. Splatoon pillows. I mean, just so much fun. It was just amazing experience. Uh, going over here to Luigi, look, he's waving to me. That's so nice. It was really great. Now, Anibos, they have a brand new Anibo display, and they display a whole bunch of them uh, throughout the store. And these are some of the more recent ones. As you can see, I got my recent game hauls, but they do have some good ones. Now, I didn't notice any, like, super old ones. They have all the current stock, including the new, rare current ones that are harder to find in stores, but I didn't see, like, any kind of back stock of, like, older ones, like Refit Trainer or things like that, for people who've been asking if they they were going to reissue those at Nintendo. And I believe they're going to have lots of great Anibos coming up down the road too. Now there's lots of other things besides Anibos. Check out, there's, there's manga, there's all sorts of little toys and lunch boxes and great things. Now I do have to apologize, I mean this place there was a lot of people there so you probably will see a lot of other bloggers walking around and whatnot. It was very hard to get people to like not be in your shot and not be in someone else's shot. Now walking upstairs here you can see there's great monitors and what's great about these monitors they're all independent but every now and then something will happen that goes across all the monitors and it really made it feel alive if you will because they're showing different things and the same thing at one time. Now outside here you can see a few of the people waiting outside. This is again the media access party so this is now open to the general public. There's lots of other bloggers, there's different types of journalists in here. You'll see people from New York news, people from, uh, there's even like a Japanese news station in here and um, different YouTubers, and people from papers and all sorts of things. So a lot of fun. Now here this is really great. I was really impressed to see this firsthand. These are the original drawings of the original Mario Brothers. You know, and then there's a Mario Maker in there kind of encouraging you to make your own levels now. Who would think how far we come to playing the game to making the game? It's fantastic. Then going over here, I know I got some Pokemon fans on my channel, and of course, you know, I was checking out the Pokemon. Lots of great new Pokemons, ones I've not seen in other stores, some other cool ones which you know, were available during the holidays but sold out real fast. I mean, just so much fun stuff. Uh, I did not see though a whole lot of Meloetta, I will say. My favorite Pokemon was not there, but there's so much stuff, there's no shortage of things to buy by any means. And they had some good holiday Pokemon too, so if you miss that favorite holiday Pokemon plush or whatever, man, they can help you out. They can hook you up with some great holiday stuff. Little hats to keep warm on those wintry New York, January, February days. I mean, just lots and lots of cool stuff. There's t-shirts for adults, t-shirts for kids. You can see like there's some really cute ones there that I haven't seen before either in other stores. Now Pokemon, there's lots of cards from Breakpoint to Breakthrough, and of course more plushies. Sometimes I might repeat a few shots here because I'm getting from different angles. There are some of the Mews that were available, like the Pokemon cardboard displays in different stores that sold out so fast, you got another chance to buy those. And check out these super cute, oh my god, these little keychain plushies. They were so adorable, man. I, am, I only got a couple of them, but I mean, just they were really, really wonderful. And in retrospect, if I would have more luggage space, man, I would have bought one of each of them. Super duper cute. Check out these huge Pikachu pillows. Oh my gosh, so awesome. Big Pikachu there, really, really nice. 
and then down here there's another even bigger Pikachu and then check out this wonderful Snorlax pillow oh my god can you think of anything more appropriate to sleep on that Snorlax pillow oh my gosh and then moving over here there's like little figures and these these were awesome I bought quite a few of these and these were actually buy four get the fifth one free I didn't see a sign at the time when I bought them but we were made aware by the nice cashier about the promotion so I was real happy about that but they got lots of cool little figures which I have not seen in other stores readily available so it was really cool to have those extra Pokemon figures just out just to buy that was awesome and then going down there's some bigger ones here on the bottom you can see and then moving along here this is also on the second level this is kind of like the the video game demo area again I apologize to other people that kind of walk in my shots um, it was really hard to get a shot with no one in it because people were constantly walking in front of each other a little bit but I guess it's to be expected in a, biz, in a keynote of this nature where there's you know media walking around a huge monitor check out that huge monitor oh my god it was gigantic and there's lots of other monitors throughout the store too i mean different little playstations but that monitor it was gigantic if i had that thing at home man i would go bonkers i would never leave i'd keep playing wii u all day long for sure but if you go there you can actually play games on this monitor yourself such a fantastic thing and i've been told that they might do some other things with the monitor down the road like feature like keynotes from e3 or do other things maybe even like some kind of pokemon stuff like world championships stuff like that they have lots of fun things in the works but stay tuned to the store for all the details of what is actually going to happen now they had of course the nintendo museum of historic game systems going back to the nes and the super nes now the super nes there is a little bit yellow that surprised me how like the bottom was gray and the top was yellow just like the one i have at home it was great the th the 3d remember the the nintendo handheld the 3d system oh my gosh and then there's the N64, and then, you know, there was uh, GameCube. But I was really blown away. To see a Virtual Boy in just out in the wild is pretty amazing, to tell you the truth. Um, then the Wii, and of course, moving along to the newest part of the Nintendo family, the Wii U. And if you haven't picked up this game system, really check it out, guys. It's such a great game system. And then there's lots of displays of classic handhelds, including going all the way back to the original Game Boy and all the different reiterations of Game Boy Advance and the little SPs and then going into the 3DS and there's also the collector editions on display and just so much stuff to check out you really if you're a fan of Game Boy and Nintendo you really should check out the display look there's a Pikachu one I want that one so bad and I don't have it and then there's even cool artwork stuff these weren't for sale they were just large displays at least as far as I know they weren't for sale I didn't see a price but really huge displays of Nintendo art now I did have to say, like these are the guys who are in the front of the line, so kudos to you guys, you fans who are waiting outside in the front of the Nintendo line. It was a cold New York day, but it was great being surrounded by warm-hearted individuals who are into gaming. You can see that line is long, and I'll show a little bit more of that here at the end of the video, but that line, it wrapped around the block, like four sides of the building. It was a huge line, so you can tell from that dedication, people were really excited about this event and really wanted to check out the store. Now moving along to the Zelda area, you can see lots of cool Zelda stuff, lots of manga, lots of book posters, t-shirts, all sorts of fun accessories. I mean, everything you can want as a Zelda fan, backpacks, action figures, just everything. I mean, it was really, really nice. And if you're into Zelda, like I am and like a lot of people are, you're just like a kid in a candy store again. It's just such a happy day to see all this stuff together. I did see some of those Zelda backpacks being worn by people in the crowd, which was awesome. And then check out the Pokemon t-shirts. Such fun stuff. We've got Hoopa and all sorts of other classic and newer Pokemon displayed in t-shirt form. And then we have t-shirts here on the side for you so you can grab yourself a folded flat one and um, check it out. And lots of other ones. Some of these are more classic t-shirts from the last six months or so. And some of them are brand new ones that are brought out just for this event. But anyway, it was great that not only was there kids Pokemon stuff, but there was good stuff for us adults too. Because I mean, there are adults who love Pokemon. That's no doubt to me. And this is definitely a place where you can find a lot of those t-shirts in sizes which are bigger than just like juniors or kids, you know, which is really cool. And there is lots of Pokemon stuff coming out. I mean, we have the Pokemon Weekend coming up. Depending upon when you're watching this, um, it may be coming up. It's going to be on, what, February 27th, which is a Saturday in 2016. So be sure and check out a store near you that celebrates Pokemon. You can call toy stores like Toys R Us or, of course, Nintendo World if you're close, guys, or GameStop and see what they're doing to celebrate Pokemon's 20th. 
Um, lots of other keychains here you can see again. I kind of went through this again. I kept going back to that Wellord. I really wanted that keychain. I didn't buy it. I kind of regret it because I really love it, man. It's such a cute little keychain. And these little teeny sleeping Pokemon, man. Again, I was just, I was really um, kind of starstruck or in awe of their cuteness and wanting to buy each and every one of them and it just gives me inspiration to go back again some of the stuff may be available online too so you can of course check that out as another option but i know you pokemon fan pokemon fans love this stuff as much as i do and there's just such cute ones look at this one here and look at that i mean there's that one's been out for a while i mean of course oh wow check that out um there's just so many great pokemon to get and um you you gotta catch them all you know <laughs> So anyway, moving along for Pokemon, um, there's a few other racks, I mean there's several racks of Pokemon, including some of the newer, bigger ones, which is great, the Mega Evolution plushies, which is really nice, check out that Hoopa man, I've never seen that before in a store just on a shelf, so a lot of new things to collect, or at least things I haven't got, there's a regular Hoopa, and just like lots and lots of cool stuff. Now if you're in New York, this is very close to Times Square, it's about 15 minutes away actually, so it's very walkable, um, or you can actually take the train to get to it, but um, definitely it's a store worth checking out. Then I went back here to check out this art again, it was really cool, I, I was almost thinking, imagining how they drew this, like, you know, what was going through their minds when they were actually trying to make these levels, and kind of thinking, wow, you know, again, I can do this, I do have a Tux Toys Pokemon level, if you haven't tried it, it's a fantastic level, and if you never played Mario Maker, I highly recommend checking out. It's just such an amazing game that they're actually turning the tools over to the end user to actually make their own Mario levels. And down here there's a, some examples of other Mario things like the Wii controller and whatnot. And then I went back over to Zelda here again. I kept thinking about they're playing Zelda on the huge monitor and it got me thinking more about Zelda merchandise, different books I could buy and different mangas and do the t-shirts and everything else. I kept eyeballing all this stuff, so I really, really wanted it, and I, I kept wanting to go back to it. That's why I keep showing this this shot, is I, I kept wanting to buy more Zelda stuff, because I'm really, I love Zelda, and I cannot wait for the new Zelda. I'm so excited, and there is such great Zelda stuff out there right now. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that. What happened here then, is at noon, they went ahead and lined people out front. They let them in, like, controlled little groups, and that way the store would be flooded with too many people at one shot. But I hope you enjoyed this longer form video. Again, I'm gonna make a top five things from Nintendo down the road, but I really wanted to give you guys a full taste of what I experienced. And before I leave here, I wanted to show some of the fans as you walk through the line. Like, there was so many people outside, like, there was a great feeling of embrace from the gaming community as a whole. In fact, we loved it so much, we came back around six o'clock and waited until nine, three hours in line to get back in a second round. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll talk to you soon.